typical children are natural child psychologists. And they sense that this child is different right from the first moment they meet them. I have very strong opinions based on clinical experience that bullying and teasing can be devastating for the person with an autism spectrum disorder. Not only should there be zero tolerance, but it is also very important that the person with Asperger's syndrome, you explain to them why they were the victim, because their view is, why me? I'm a nice guy. I keep to myself. Why would somebody enjoy hurting me? And the illogicality of it, the way it hurts them emotionally, that school, in a way, is like a war zone where you're going to be ambushed every day, will affect the mental health of the children. Solutions for bullying may vary, but Dr. Atwood offers the key may be with other students. The only way to stop it is for other children to stop it. Because most acts of bullying are not witnessed by a teacher, but they are witnessed by the other children. And I encourage them to rescue both parties, not just the child with ASD, but the predator, the bully. Because if they continue bullying, they're going to have a very bad adult life pathology. So both need to be stopped. It's not cool, it's not funny, we're not scared, just don't do it.